the Minister of Finance and the Public Service, Dr. Nigel Clark, this afternoon met with stakeholders from the horse racing industry following what has been a contentious last five days in the sport. Now this came on the heels of the abandonment of two races on April 27. Rohan Daly files this report. The meeting was essentially called to discuss the recent developments in the sport, including the vexed issue of post time around the new Jamaica Racing Commission Rule 44-3, which led to the abandonment of two races on April 27. The meeting, which was well attended by a large group of stakeholders, the JRC and promoters SVREL, was tasked with the renewed focus of bringing about resolutions. Minister of Finance and the Public Service, Dr. Nigel Clark, expressed satisfaction with the tone of the meeting, which lasted over three hours. Several issues pertinent to the industry were discussed and consensus arrived at. The first point is that a recognition around the table by all stakeholders that everyone will make an effort to ensure that races start on time. A delayed start to races poses a health risk to jockeys, and it also poses a risk to the horses as well, health-wise. Yeah? The second sort of point of, uh, of agreement is that abandonment of races uh, is, has unintended consequences. Jockeys, grooms, trainers, owners, breeders, even the government, everybody is adversely affected. And therefore, it is not ideal. He says, as such, the Jamaica Racing Commission will suspend the application of Rule 44.3, which empowers stewards to abandon a race, while the rule is further defined with consultations. The JRC is also tasked with developing a program of fines that can be applied to decentivize a lack of punctuality to the start of races. Minister Clark says the parties involved will get together and over the next 30 days renegotiate the deed among them. That speaks to how purses are calculated and distributed. On successful conclusion of that, we'll gather again, gather together again, and you know, I'll appoint a task force that will work, that is represented or has representation from all stakeholders in the industry, and the idea is to make recommendations that are more short, medium, and long-term that can assist in the development of the horse racing industry and take us to an entirely higher, newer level.